everyone on this lovely day this lovely day 420 it should still be 420 where i am it may not be anymore for you guys but i still get the benefits of it now we're talking about kenji and sayu the thing keeps going and going and going we're also going to be talking about how hollow tempest is doing well and anything else that is going on i do appreciate you for watching just to give you guys a bit of a starter here a bit of an idea of what's going on mika melatika was a part of nidhi sanji id along with many others she retired on the 28th of December of 2023. That means she graduated from a Nidhi Sanji ID and Nidhi Sanji JP because it was absorbed into Nidhi Sanji ID. Recently, we had Michi Mochi V, which popped up into the scene and started, you know, putting art out there, started putting all of her stuff out there. Um, your debut stream, the full on stream for everybody that's there. Um, surprise, all these other surprises. She was basically making herself well known out there. So, V Shoujo did something correct in making the video about, you know, her being, uh, you know, a, a random person popping in, stealing their, their V Shoujo merch, stealing their V Shoujo envelope, and, you know, this is how we got here. Now, here we have Michimo TV, which is Mika Melatika, going through and saying her piece, which everybody, everybody was waiting for this day. Let's hear her in her own words. Jesus. Okay. There we are. Hi everyone. It's her. Welcome back. Welcome to my first ever welcome stream. Back. Yeah! Welcome back. She said welcome back to start off with. <laughs> Hello there. Nice to finally meet you. My name is Richie Mochibi. We show just newest member. Richie Mochibi. And today okay. is my first ever debut stream. <laughs> How'd you like uh, the, the lore video? The lore video was a good so lore back, video. Yeah, from the, good lore from video. the 10 minute waiting room, eh? I know that, that's super long, you know? Gotta watch him play golf it for a bit. Gotta get my snacks as well. All right, before yeah, the that stream was a long, actually long starts, starts, I want to just tell you so you get a you get a heads up. Uh, all the alerts will be muted, including TTS for the stream. So yeah, just let, so that you know, right? I am I am a I wouldn't call myself a scam artist. I'd call myself a really smart businesswoman. <laughs> but you know, there's there's some lines I won't cross. So just so you know, the alerts and TTS are muted. It will still appear though, but uh, just for the stream, it will be muted. So just heads up. Yeah, I mean that makes right. sense. It's, it's oh, a no, debut what stream. What the hell do you do in these kind of streams? Hi everyone. So my name is Pranav pronounced Michi Mochivi. I know some people were wondering how to pronounce it. It's Michi Mochivi. You can call me Michi, you can call me Mochi, you can call me Chivi. You can Chibi. call me anything Chibi's you'd cute. like. Um, I probably still have a hard time like noticing it anyways. So um, yeah, anything Chibi's you'd cute. like. I actually do have a fuller name, but we'll get into that later. For now, is the volume okay? Am I really, Volume's really fine. loud? Volume's no, good? Okay. Loud. An even longer name? Yeah, I do. We'll get into it like later. So, of course she's gonna have a longer name. For today's stream, since it's a debut stream, I will do what everyone else does and introduce myself so we get to know one another better yeah of course. originally i thought that it'd be kind of weird to like introduce myself looking like this so i no it's not very weird not only will i be debuting today i will also be debuting a 3d, a 3D model. model oh whoa holy hell she got holy a 3d hell. model before some people you, in freaking nidhi sanji did my 3d model right holy Boom. crap <laughs> okay what do you think about it not trying to toot my own horn a little chat but <laughs> she got the cardboard model myself, right you know, the there not me but the rigging is me look at how realistic oh my oh my lord oh my lord it, it was realistic all to the oh my lord you look at this Sorry, look at that look at that look at that model right look at that. oh my lord look at this look at this look at that look at that 3d model it's just too realistic and there we go we have she has her home with matara and Kenan Kuro, of course, Matara several months ago was kind of saying that she's trying to get her friend to work, to come to work, to come over there, to be shoujo, etc. And people already knew that it may very well be Mika Melatika. Some people were thinking it might be Pomu, but Pomu is doing Made Mint right now. So everything has been cleared up. It is Mika Melatika and it is Michi Mochi V. I didn't know if it was Michi Mochi V or Michi Mochi Eevee, but the wait is finished. The wait is over. It is Michi Mochi V and she is a part of Vishojo. Of course, support her and support all the other Vichoja girls if you want. Uh, I'm glad that she finally has a good home. This, these people will appreciate her. She's more of an independent businesswoman at this point. Uh, so I think she will do very well. She has good friends around her and is a very good person to begin with. So I think she'll do very well. So let me first set everything up. Saya Synchronicity, as we all know, is a wonderful uh, VTuber who had an issue with her previous company, which was um, Nidhi Sanji. 
So now she used to be Zion. She is Sayu. She was criticized in the past for jokes that she made. Uh, she realized herself that she uh, those jokes were made in bad taste. She even ad admitted and apologized for the fact that the jokes were most likely in bad taste and that people were not going to like it. So that's where we are right now. We have her as Sayu Synchronicity. She's almost at 100k, so of course support her if you want to. Uh, she popped up with this way back in the day. I'll be honest, having been doxxed myself, no one deserves to be doxxed, but these people also have to understand that when they spread hate in other ways, this is how it feels. Karma does come around. I hope they learn to, that bashing on others isn't good. Uh, she says, to this day, I'm slandered and called a P for a joke I made about fictional characters. Obviously does not translate into my real life behavior. And my friends can attest to that. Using such a word as haphazardly as Kenji does only serves to water the down the term. Obviously, I made mistakes in the past, and so I have made other content creators. And people will continue to make mistakes in the future. However, just because you've been doxxed does not automatically make you a saint. So this is where we are right now. And then today, we had this coming out. Uh, she wanted to clarify again. To clarify what I said, because some people aren't reading it properly, nobody deserves to be doxxed, and that's what I mentioned right there. Um, Kenji says, I can't defend you for the distasteful jokes you made now. This person saying, you know, back in the day. Um, Kenji specifically, uh, this person says, this proves Kenji doesn't feel remorse. Why does he justify her treatment and continue to slander Sai after what happened to him? Sai got doxxed by his chat, which he didn't remove, and yet talked about it. Don't condone him being doxxed, but this is karma. So people are kind of going against this. Uh, because what recently happened is that when that whole situation happened, Sayu blocked Kenji because she thought, you know, he's unrepentant. This is her ideas. This is what she was thinking. I'm, just, I'm saying her side right now that I'm going to say Kenji's side. Unrepentant, not going to change, not, go not going to hit anything at all. So it says, sorry to comment on this more, guys. I honestly don't like this kind of heated back and forth. I really hate that people can't just be ourselves in peace and not exploit others for content. Yes, the video he did that slandered me in his chat doxing me happened a year ago. Back then, I blocked Kenji and said nothing because I knew his he and his community would continue to blow things up and spin the narrative to their liking, nor apologizing. Why? Uh, because after he posted about me having him blocked recently, I unblocked him and invited him to have a proper conversation in good faith. I do believe that talking things out in private is the best way to go about things, but that hasn't happened yet. I can relate to that. I liked hashing things out in private before it goes out in public, but the same thing has happened to me. The person I tried to hash it out in private did not hash it out in private and instead went public. Uh, making me out to be the bad guy and making me out to be this horrible individual in a hit piece. It happened, and I'm moving forward, of course, as Sayu is trying to do. I simply wish to receive an apology from him. There's so many others out there who have been hurt by him and refuse to speak up because he's bigger presence and substantially more influence, but I'm not them. And I don't think it's right to say that just because one person has made mistakes, another person is justified in harassing them forever. You don't have to like me. I'm not likable in many ways. But please remember that behind every voice is a human being. The damage you can inflict goes beyond just words on a screen. And I say this about both of them. Remember, Kenji's also a person behind the screen as much as Sayu is someone behind the screen. A lot of people don't like me for being a fence sitter, but I like being objective and seeing both sides. Now we're going to go to the Kenji side. He is, um, he had a whole clapback situation that he tried to do with Sayu, uh, which is basically right here. Uh, people are saying he's immature, but let's just see what he says. There are many others out there who refuse to speak up. Y'all the same script or what? Uh, basically, Dove says the same thing. Personal experience with this guy and the biggest starting uh, how he really is. Uh, Thin Trevert says um, treating people poorly. Basically, he's being unrepentant he's being a little bit immature in this whole situation uh it doesn't seem out of character for him at least from what i've seen he's very true to himself whether that be something positive or negative he's very true to himself and um here he goes with more stuff he says if you really wanted to talk you would have waited for a reply considering i have you your blank little boy you know i like whatever community effing with me currently my mental isn't 100 percent for a conversation if you'd like to talk i'm down but it honestly seems like you want to make yourself out to be the bigger person Guys, look, I DM'd him. He's not responding. Again, this this is him just out of, you know, his current mental state. I can understand. Let's just keep going. You're so blinded by hate towards me because I reacted to you saying I like, you know, that. No wonder she got blanked. You're under the post saying he gets to play victim and siding with people that knew about the doctor and continue to be friends with them. If I'm honest, I don't think you care about the current situation. I think you don't like me. And you're doing everything in your power to make a situation about uh, yourself. If your replies don't prove that, you're posting screenshots of a DM that I never replied to. It seemed like the bigger person says enough. I don't want you to unblock me. Never asked you to. 
You're free to do whatever you want. I don't care, to be honest. You're, uh, if you really wanted to talk, I doubt you'd make a public commotion. My DMs have always been open, even back when you got terminated. Reaching out was always a possibility, so I'm waiting now. Uh, waiting till now seems off. And here's the attention you ordered. Also, you gave me major dove vibes. Do you have a Kenji support group too? Again, he's being kind of immature in this whole situation right now. I can understand um, the whole kind of feeling that he has. We're going to take a look at his prior tweets as well. Here's a the two things that he mentioned before, he suggests everyone start opening their eyes to how he really is. And I've come across Kenji treating people poorly. His behavior has affected numerous people. So he's saying that's like a script, apparently. And here's the thing that started the back and forth, that continued the back and forth. Here's what happened on April 19th. Says, no one deserves to be doxxed, but you're mad because I reacted to you saying that and your R jokes when you got terminated almost a year ago. You had me blocked, but are tweeting about me. Get off my blank. And posts I'm replying to because I couldn't re retweet because I'm blocked. All this stuff is basically a lot of drama. It shouldn't have gotten this way. Um, I kind of agree that it's better that they would have dealt with it in DMs, but I can understand both sides. I can understand Kenji not liking that he's being talked about when things aren't going, when things are going bad right now for him. I can understand Sayu's 100% because now that he is getting hurt on her mind, on her side, She's seeing it like, oh, now he wants to play the victim after he did all these things to me, as what other people would do. Other people have done that, will do that. That's kind of human nature, unfortunately. That is one way that humans react to things, unfortunately. But I can see from both sides. I can see because of the fact that she was called a P word. That is the worst word you can use against somebody, uh, especially in this case when it's fictional people, because it is like the worst thing someone can do. It's one of the worst things someone can do. It's like horrible. It's deplorable. It can ruin your career. It can ruin your reputation. It can ruin your livelihood. It can threaten your family. It can threaten anyone close to you. It can threaten your health and your safety. So all of that stuff is absolutely something that I can understand Sayu being aggressive towards and I can understand Sayu being uh, angry towards. I just wish that all this would stop. Truly, unobjectively, I, I wish that all this would just stop and they would both just ignore each other at this point and just go on, move on, deal with their respective problems, deal with their respective communities, and just let this die down. But if they continue talking back and forth, this is not going to die down. This is going to become much worse because you're going to have tribalism. You're going to have people on each side wanting to hurt the other, and it's just going to become bad. Let's read some of the comments. I said, nope, because reading requires having a brain. Instead of sniping, why does he, doesn't he reply to your DM already? Uh, highly doubt he had any intention to answer to begin with, but Nasai called him out for not doing so. Actually complying would probably count as moral defeat in his eyes because, God forbid, he tries to move past his own immaturity. Then we have, why would he do that? It would require him to be a reasonable person in empathy. The worst part is genuinely think her fans are R because of 4chan. Yeah, the 4chan post was a, da a, a dumb thing. Kenji is simple, everyone, because your fans are uh, simply wanking to the greater masses and... Uh, not actually taken seriously the vtuber space doesn't need its own keemstar just be honest uh you ain't that original she gave him the best olive brand she could in the situation discuss it privately and you both could give it a rest uh but she behaved she behaved as a mature adult according to these people and has been a effing child yeah it's just she did give out the olive branch that was very mature of her uh right now it's i guess he's just not ready to receive it and that is going to look bad on him of course uh like i said i try to be in the middle which gets me hate from both sides but i try to be in the middle um this is going to turn into an R war. Hope it won't. PS worst thing in lead in messy court war. Hopefully it doesn't. Um, and here's this guy. I think, I think he might be a bit perturbed. I, can, I can't tell. What's wrong with him? Like, actually, I repost what I said. Done with Kenji. Seeing him act like this. Some people are actually done with him because it seems like he's very immature. Uh, she's apologized over and over for her behavior and admits that she's difficult to handle. But she takes what happens and learns. It's proven now that she's taken accountability for her actions and her faults and done what she can to improve, of course. Even now, she all wants an, an apology from the guy who called her a P, spread the docs info by reading it aloud, and now basically sending her fans against aggressive tweets. I generally speech is what the F is wrong with him, and that's about this stuff. And that's my point. That's what I want to say. It's just, I hope cooler heads prevail. I hope maturity prevails, and I hope they get to fix this out uh, in the best way possible. I hope they do. I really do hope they do. Add a bit of more context into everything that i said previously about the kenji thing apparently uh this is um san sayu's thing it says merry christmas homies and this was back in 2021 by the way this was way back in 2021 so he's digging up some old stuff he is very bitter about this so he's digging up some old stuff here it says merry christmas homies y'all some of the most funny silly adventurous and most chill friends i've ever been lucky enough to make thanks for being down with my shenanigans this is before she was part of Niji Sanji. Y'all know there's more fun chaos this year, believe it. And um, 
This is Captain Hokage art. This is Kage back in uh, the old days, I'm guessing. Sayu art. And this is other people uh, back in the day. Beautiful art done by Rari. Sayu as well, um, I guess, was also a part of this. Uh, CYU right here on the left. Uh, it says, always, you bully me, I bully you. The vicious cycle of friendship, bully shall resume in the new year. But all seriousness, Merry Christmas, homie. So this is the people that that were were uh, her friends before. She was friends with Kage. She was friends with, you know, Kage, the one who was part of the Mofongo boys. Uh, the one who was part of, um, you know, everything back in the day. Like, we're, we're going to look back into his images back in... In like this is Kage now. Kage back in the day is gonna have the same um, the same stuff as before, same stuff that was being shown. This was him before, and this is him now. Uh, you know the one on the very far right is him now, and basically he said he's trying to make it look like oh my god you are a part of like after all this hatred, all this kind of stuff that's going on here, all these things that I went over. He's trying to make it look like oh my goodness you're going with Kage, you're going and doing all this with Kage, and um. Hmm, maybe you people are birds of a feather that flock together. This is what I'm thinking he's saying uh, because he's putting the thinking emoji and uh, here again, again with Kage and Sayu, what the way she was back then. And this is her having, you know, all her friends around there and Kage is one of the ones that's there. And uh, they were all together at Anime, Anime E, I guess. It was a restaurant. They had met together. They knew each other. There's nothing wrong with being friends with somebody back in the day this was also 2022 uh sayu is not someone who ego searches other people at least i don't think so it doesn't seem like it so i don't think she would be ego searching to see you know what's happening with kenji back then until you know 2023 when he talked about her directly until then i don't think sayu had any kind of idea that kenji even existed it was TwitchCon 2022 when they met together. Not all of them connected to each other. She definitely part of them. Kenji group chats. Here's people putting a stretch. This is people stretching it out. And this is what happens when you insert yourself into drama when people's emotions are high. I'm not blaming Sayu because she's a victim in this whole thing too. She got called the P word. She got called um, again. She got called recently got called again the P word. She recently again got called the R like saying that she was up for R stuff. She recently... Uh, had all that stuff uh, happening. So this is all something that I don't get. Just why are people just being so mean? People being so evil? People just, you know, Hiksu said, ain't no way. People are finding it out now because it was Kenji putting it out. So now people are finding it. This means nothing really if the point is that Kage and Sai are friends and could have been trashing Kenji to each other. It's something that far-fetched with no real evidence. Yes, there's no evidence behind it. There's no paper trail. There's no anything up. Although people who are Kanji's friends are going to be saying it's all adding up, hiding the replies. Generally, what does this prove? What does this post accomplish? A post from two years ago. More drama coming through. Yes. OS. You know, all this type of stuff. People are just really excited about the drama. Receipts. This guy really had to look through Sayo's Twitter and scroll back to two years down to try to find something to use against her here. He is ego searching. He's um, treating it, um, treating it really like, I don't know, really too much he's doing too much here i think it's just too far but i'm i'm trying to see it kind of in the middle you should never go this far with your beefs and things like that was in 22 years are you saying both are bad people don't understand no wonder some kind of animal breed as well the ears it's giving <clears throat> they're the same picture and then of course people talking about you know drama and blah 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 and I think this is a nothing burger, personally. I personally think this is a nothing burger. But let's see what the people on the Kurosanji subreddit are saying, because of course people are going to be talking about it now. And people are saying, say, what a new low, digging into an old ass tweets and cherry picking whatever if it's his narrative. Bro is going to effing cuckoo and trying to take down Sayu. What is he cooking? That's a trick. He ain't cooking S. Burning his house down. Bro is weird. Is he really this dumb? He's really reaching now. This is Hazami on it. Uh, Hazami uh, in it. This one over here, the page doesn't exist. Oh, it looks like he took it down. Also has Maki in it. He just deleted it. Yep, he deleted it. Uh, going into her profile, pulling out old tweets, ain't no way. This is accidentally like a three-year-old Insta post. Your crush levels of embarrassing. He really scrolled through two years of posts to drag down someone for being happy. I think he needs a hobby. Uh, this is peak Twitter behavior. Let him dig his own grave. He's been given several chances to talk things out with Sayu privately. If he would rather cherry pick stuff to prove his point to Sayu, People eventually dig more stuff up about him. He can't be both a victim and a perpetrator. That's a mistake. And again, just going through everything because of Kage. I know the situation has been going on for a while, but what did Kage do and what did Dove do? Imagine Afkai rejecting him. 
cooked more like brain burnt yeah basically it's like secondhand embarrassment it's like you you're digging a little too far for this thing um i can see like i said he's obviously very angry he's obviously very frustrated with the way the whole situation is going he's obviously not liking sayu at this point and um while i understand that he's not liking sayu while i understand that he is maybe a little frustrated maybe a little extra angry with how everything's going um it is not the right way to do things it really isn't the right way to do things to to go and act this way to go and be this way to go and um go as far as as you are as this person is on this whole situation i really don't like it when people go this far i really don't like it when people take it this far it's just too much i think post which as you can see here has been deleted and i wasn't able to catch it it was actually deleted within 33 minutes of people actually finding it it was deleted so he's probably looking at the kurosanji subreddit and other subreddits involved he tried to falsely claim that sayu and cyu the voice actor and more were part of dove's discord hate group he was trying to go hmm all these people know each other so they're all trying to be part of the same hate group so he deleted that portion lmfao is kenji series he's trying to drag sayu the voice actor into this mess well-known, highly respected among indies, professional voice actor. Uh, this guy, bro asking to get cooked at this rate. The cowardly S deleted it. Bro tried to spit fire and got third degree burns. Wait, Alejandro Saab, the guy who voiced Leon from Pokemon Journeys. Very real. Yes, it's Sayu. Uh, the, the voice actor, at least. Next, will go after Cinder and bow for the collabs with Kage. He actually went after uh, Sayu for the Kage. For Sayu, the, the old Zion for the Kage thing. Did he just delete the tweet? Yes, he did. He just deleted the tweet. Uh, the coward deleted it. Bro tried spitting fire. Got it burnt to cinders. What a punk butt. He needs to get out of the basement. If he can climb stairs, that is the auditions for Niji. They would love him. So yeah, he, if you're going to spit something like that, if you're going to actually say things like that, back them up or try to back them up as much as you can. You know, try to back them up. Don't just spit out stuff and be like, oh no, no, no. I didn't mean anything like that. I didn't mean any of it. I didn't mean it at all. Um, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. Don't, don't get angry at me. Stop. You know, that kind of stuff? No, no, that's not gonna, that's not gonna fly. Bit of a short snippet of something new that popped up. Idle EN, Idle, uh, the company, I believe, is um, choosing a side because they have their talents over here going and, um, you know, going for Vade Retro, which is a, a computer game, a PC game, uh, for uh, Doki Bird. And of course, since the beginning, Idle R had already chosen Doki Bird's side because they're not going to choose a company who is doing red flags. Of course, they're not. To be real, Idle made a definitive declaration on what side they'd pick the moment they announced LM would be drafting a new contract for talent signed by Idle. It is, however, still satisfying to see people from Idle able to use their corporate persona when collabing with Doki. It's really good. He isn't drafting their contract. He's a consultant for its rewriting. He'll be giving his opinion on things, but he won't have any decisional power on the final draft. Hope she collabs with Rin as well. It may seem that Nidisan Jien may lose its reliability after firing Selen. At this point, nothing wholesome seems to appear anymore. So yeah, that's what's going on on that end. And I'm glad that Selen slash Doki Bird is getting the uh, beneficial treatment that she deserves. All right, everybody. We're looking at what Saya Synchronicity recently has said about the whole kenji situation uh it's starting to get a little heated up it's starting to get a little crazy uh but at least one of them is trying to be a little bit more on the upside you know on the side of not being crazy not taking it a little too wild i'm trying to be objective but right now sai is looking a little bit more calm and kenji because of the situation he's fe feeling right now he's of course getting a little bit more heated and he's going to not be as so nice it doesn't seem like so instead of talking things out now he's trying to find any sort of dirt on me to invalidate and demonize me to the public so he won't have to admit he was wrong. You complain that you weren't in the right headspace to talk private, but you're in the right headspace to obsessively dig through my Twitter posts and attack people more. Yes, I was friends with a lot of people back then. Kenji was one was also one of the people who followed me on Twitter and Twitch. Funny how friends change over time. And she has this here, which I will show you the picture of it. At the bottom, you can see Kenji, English partner, uh, Twitch partner. That's what it means by partner. It's the English Twitch partner. You can see that going on there. And that is her saying, you know, you shouldn't have, you know, tried to look for things because this is what he tried to look for. He wrote, hmm, he did the, you know, the hmm emoji where this is um, Kage. This is Sayu before the new cyberpunk form of Sayu. This was her Sayu, kind of like a shrine maiden Sayu in the past. And this was all the way in 2021 when this picture showed itself. This was all the way back there. So it's three years ago that he popped up with this picture. And he's really trying hard 
to make her look, I guess, like he is one of the people, like she is one of the people who was part of the whole Kage thing with uh, Dove being part of the hate group. She's ins he's insinuating with what he's writing here and the home emoji that she was part of the hatred. She was part of that group that doxed him. She was part of the group that knew about the dox doxing situation, which is a long stretch because of the fact that we don't have any information of her being a part of it. I'm pretty sure she would have been outed if she was a part of it because people are outing everybody right now. It's really turning into a big turf war type thing situation. So she would have been outed, but she hasn't been. Because bro literally digging for tweets because he got beat the F up. Bro is getting desperate. It's crazy how far he's going. Such a child that that have actually reason. You've handled it all as civil as you can, Sayu. Don't let yourself fall too deep into this. I told you, it says no need to engage with the V-Tweeter. You do you. I'm going to have let him block forever. Can y'all stop meat riding each other like damn LMFAO? If you want to be the bigger person, then only stick to DMs. Block him and be done with it. Uh, I'm half convinced he's botting this his post right now because he knows his, his evidence is weak. I snapped to pick a minute after he posted it and it's like 1.2k views and somehow 1.3k likes. Oof, if you get 1.2k views and 1.3k likes, that really does seem like there's some botting going on. But I'm not going to say it because I don't have proof of any of that. Honestly, just block him. He's clearly trying to milk this for content. He does everything else. Squid, the fact that he had to dig up the tweet from two years ago to try to make you seem like a terrible person is just disgusting. That type of thing. And say so you try to be civil, Sayu. He chose to be trash and simply continue to reveal his true colors. You don't owe him any more chances. Hope you're doing okay mentally and can be easy right now. Just know they're better person and one day, we'll, you know, it'll catch up to him. That He's talking about like karma catching up to the person. Uh, Nephi says, sorry, you have to put up with this. Best thing to do is live for yourself and enjoy your life. Don't even know who he is. I'm just choosing to ignore that he just sort of exists. And yeah, that's pretty much what you should do. Just ignore, move on, move past. But I'm going to keep reading some of the things that are going on here. So yeah, people are saying there's, there's stuff that they're saying. Honestly, let him show us true colors. It was actually right. He wouldn't have felt the need to use guilt by association. And I got you the closer image of Kenji being a Twitch follower from a long time ago. The main thing here is showing that he is not doing things the right way. He is not taking care of his own mental health if he's doing these types of things. I think Sayu was going to leave it alone, but Kenji started doing this of, you know, basically posting four minutes, new cover, uh, Kenji beep beep boop. I guess he has an official video, um, but this 30 minutes ago, this an hour ago, you know, showing that she was friends with Kage, friends with Sayu, CYU as well, who supposedly is, since they were friends together with Kage, they were supposed to be a part of the hate group and all that other kind of stuff. It's a stretch. It is definitely a stretch. And I wish that he would have just left it alone. But when you're not in a be good mental state, I can understand him doing those type of things. So when you're not in a good mental state, I can definitely understand that. I can definitely understand someone going through all that and just wanting to knock someone down it is twitter after all sayu is just defending herself at this point and making sure that the other person doesn't have the last word which can lead to a long fight and i hope this doesn't become a long fight and it says a cross post here unlike lexium noxix they support each other uh this is talking about the hollow tempest boys who are right now i believe there's three but uh they do seem to support each other right now they do seem to want to be together and do things like that uh we all know that Nidhi Sanji doesn't really have any support structure, doesn't really have anything to support each other. They pretty much are pitted against each other when it comes to uh, what they're going to do and what they're going to play and all that kind of stuff. It's pretty much the company wants to put them as a competition instead of it being a group like Hollow Tempest is. And it says it's pre-birthday, off collab, karaoke. It's time to get Haka birthday started. Let's party with the boys before my birthday. And this is, of course, in regards to Luca trying to get something going for their anniversary and also trying to get uh something set up with luxium and and pretty much the rest of them didn't want to do anything or at least they pretended to not want to do anything and made it hard for luca to actually do anything in any way shape or form and that is something that is rough it's really mean and it's not seen with Tempest. No, really, if you freaking, what, freaking watch their streams, they mention each other way more, even watching each other's stream, not visiting it after a few minutes. And I heard that some or one of them would fall asleep watching their friend's stream. Honestly, I was quite the culture shock since one, the one who introduced me to the VTuber was Niji, and I followed Niji longer than Hololive or Holostars. Maybe it was just my experience. Feel free to correct me. They've been through a lot, uh, took on hate like no other, and have full support from Yago. Stuff like this doesn't happen often, but when it does, you cherish it. Of course. It says, remember the, the time Shinri got weepy on stream over Betel's perseverance and boy feeder allegations? The time Flay was uncomfortable with Batsu 
and uh, none of them pressured him to show his pants in, in a way that made him feel worse. How Axel angrily alluded that Selene, an honorary member situation, as publicly as he was able to get away with. You know, all the support that they be, that they do for everyone in the VTuber community. The guys caring for Gerard, uh, each in their own way, when he was sick during Holofest, but before he knew he, what, it, what it was, checking in just for the spirits, you know, that type of thing. Reassuring prior experience. How Vess and Magni grew close enough that they're apparently on each other's at my bedside IRL deathbed list. It goes on. Basically, like I said, Hololive seems to want to create and bring happiness and bring those moments where you can have the closeness that uh, other people really don't have, at least not in Niji. And that's something that I want in the VTuber community, in the community that I have, in a community of people around me, the people that I want around me. I want that. I want that to happen. But it doesn't always happen right away. It doesn't always happen uh, immediately in any way, shape, or form. So that's something that I'm working on. I'm always going to continue working on it, and I hope you'll join me. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.